everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today I am going to be making some popovers. I made some last weekend and showed them on Instagram and I had many comments about how intimidating, intimidating popovers were to make. So I thought I would bring you along and show you how to make popovers. This recipe I'm using is a Martha Stewart recipe, not mine. It's just a basic popover recipes, but there's many things you can add to it to change it up. So we're gonna go through that today. Pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, here I have a popover pan. This is a mini popover pan. There is a regular size one that has six on it. So this one is 12 mini popovers. You can make these in a muffin tin, but they're not gonna get big. They're just gonna pop a little bit. So. Sorry about the background noise. The littles are here and they're watching their programs. I just take softened butter and grease the wells here. And I grease them really well. Grease the wells well. Even the tops because they will pop over. I do not put this pan in the oven at 450 first. I just literally set it at 350, which I have just done. It's coming up to temperature. I'll put the batter in and then put them in the oven. Works just fine this way. It avoids that step that we don't really have to have. It does give it a good head start, but it works just fine this way. Okay, these are butter. I'm gonna set them aside. And my oven is preheating to 350. I have one tablespoon of melted butter in here. Two eggs, you want your eggs to be room temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and put my eggs in. I'm just gonna whisk these together. A cup and a quarter of whole milk. And I actually am out of milk, so that is my powdered milk. Half a teaspoon of salt. One cup of all-purpose flour. I have never made these gluten-free. We're not a gluten-free family, so I have no idea if it works well with the gluten-free flour. So if you're a gluten-free person, uh, drop that in the comments below for us. This is gonna end up looking like pancake batter, <coughs> but it actually tastes more like crepes. That's it, that is all there is to it. These are literally so easy. Once you see this, you're gonna wanna make them today. You're gonna fill each well about three quarters of the way full. You are going to want to double this recipe, I am telling you. I'm thinking right now I should have doubled it. I don't know if I'm going to have enough for all of these. Probably not. I made these a couple days ago and it filled every well but one. I don't know why the difference. Today, we're pretty sure. This is the basic Martha Stewart recipe though. Double the recipe. It's about all she wrote. If you want to make all savory ones, you can totally put herbs in the batter. Any herbs you like, you can do fresh or you can do dried. You can put um, some diced up pepperoni in here and mozzarella cheese or provolone. I usually yeah. have some fresh um, Parmesan, but I don't today, so I'm going to use the green stuff. It works just as well. I'll go ahead and put it in a couple of them. It is delicious in there. This would be great with herbs too. Bacon bits. Throw some bacon bits in. 
and cheddar cheese. Anything you want in a popover, let me tell you, it's a great way to get, get rid of some leftovers. I'm going to put just some cheddar cheese in that one. Maybe I'll do one more with cheddar. Get that out of there. I've done these with smoked gouda, which I absolutely love. Parmesan's probably my favorite. I've actually never put the um, cheddar in, so this will be the first. Now, I have some cinnamon and sugar. Most people make this, but I got this big cinnamon toast crunch one at Costco or Sam's Club. I don't remember which. Anyway, I love them with this. So good. It ends up tasting like French toast. Cinnamon sugar popovers are the bomb. And then you can leave, leave them plain and just put butter and jam on them. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the 350 degree oven that I have preheated. Martha says those should bake 15 minutes, but I kind of just watch them. When they pop up and turn golden, then they're done. Because they will take, for me, longer than 15. Okay, popovers are done. They're nice and tall. Now, popovers will start to deflate is when they cool off. You can stick a knife in there to try to vent them and stop them from deflating, but they're still going to deflate some. As soon as they cool just a little bit, we will pop it open. Mm -hmm. Royce, can do your taste test. Of She's got a cinnamon popover. Mm hmm It's still a little warm. It burnt my lip. Yeah. You gotta try the cinnamon top. Cinnamon top. With it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are so good when you crack them open and put butter in too. Wow. Try to get it to cool down. No. It's good. I like it. It tastes like French toast? Yeah. The inside of the cheddar popover, you can see it a little bit better. So good. They're starting to shrink. These are so easy and delicious and need very few ingredients. You gotta make them today. Okay, I hope the video was helpful and um, showed you how easy it really is. The directions in the Martha Stewart recipes say to put your oven on 425 degrees and heat your pan up first, then pull your hot pan out and put your batter in. Now I find it works just as well putting your oven on 350 and just adding it to your oven and not heating up the pan first. You could do it both ways, but cutting out an extra step is so much easier. I'm a lazy baker after all. Anyway, they turn out perfect every time at just 350. I hope you found the video helpful and I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. I will link the recipe for these in the description box below for you. They are from MarthaStewart.com. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.